Hi, I'm Deisha Jackson, and I'm with DLJ Sports and Entertainment Connection, a sports and entertainment consulting and marketing firm. And I'm here today, I'm at the Capital One Bank Building here in the great city of Jersey City with, in the offices of the Tara Daldell Group, who I happen to be a client of. I want to welcome Tara to our show. This Thank is Tara you. Daldell, who is the CEO of the Tara Daldell Group. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking some time out to talk about um, yourself and your business today and give some pointers out there to the indie artists and people in the entertainment industry. Well, I'm going to let you do the talking with regard to your business and, and yourself. So tell us a little bit about the Tara Daldell Group and what they do. Well, Tara Daldell Group is a strategic consulting and marketing firm. We help people develop, identify opportunities, and then once we've identified those opportunities where they can either grow their business, grow their brand, grow their organization, once we've identified those opportunities, then we help them develop a strategy to achieve those opportunities, to reach those goals that they have set for themselves. And so that's in a nutshell what we do. Our service areas are relationship building, because what a lot of people don't realize is that relationships Relationships are everything in business. They basically make the trains run on time. Right. Relationships are what drives business. They have always driven business. And the people that don't understand that don't excel to the extent that the people who do. It's like the old saying goes, it's not about what you know, but who you know. Amen. So we help people know the right people. So that's one of our service areas. We also provide public relations work as well. And public relations, bread and butter, press releases, media advisory, pitching our clients to get them on different shows, blogs, uh, magazines, to get them that coverage in order that, to attain that exposure so that people are aware of who they are. And if people know you're out there, you're more likely to get business or get opportunities. So we help on that front as well. We also help with branding. It's so important for people when they're trying to get a product out there or get themselves out there, that they have a very strong, identifiable brand so that when people see that brand, it's recognizable because people tend to move towards familiarity. So if you're familiar with a brand, you're going to feel more likely closer to it. You're going to more likely want to use something that you know about. So we try to help people become known commodities, and branding is a part of that that effort. And then the last area that we offer is strategic planning because you got to have a plan. Plan your work and That's work right. your plan. That's right. So a lot of people don't realize the value of having a very strong, focused, comprehensive plan to get from point A to point B. And so we develop marketing plans for people. Again, as I mentioned at the top, what we do is help them identify those opportunities, and that's all part of strategic planning because you have to figure out where the opportunities are that you want to pursue. Otherwise, you're just sort of wandering out there in the wilderness with no real direction. Excellent. So we provide that direction. Wow, that is a lot that she does. Mm -hmm. We, I want you to talk a little bit about, um, it seems like you've been doing this for a long time, or at least for, for a few years. And I want the audience to kind of know about you and, and, and who you are as a person. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and what you've done in entertainment as well? Well, I do have uh, my own experience in entertainment as well. I uh, was on the first season, uh, the, excuse me, the third season of the show, The Apprentice, the reality show. I competed on that, and uh, I unfortunately I got fired. But uh, that's all right. <laughs> but I was selected, and it was a great experience. I was selected over about over out of a million people, and again, it sort of speaks to that importance of exposure. So it gave me exposure. It made me known to people, and that yielded and created opportunities for me. And then I leveraged those opportunities. So in addition to also um, starting the Tara Daldell Group, because my background is politics, I actually, um, that's where I actually began my career, working in politics. I worked in the governor's office. I worked for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. On the communication side, I worked on the, for the shipping arm of the agency. So when all the ships come in with the products that we all buy, that was the part of the Port Authority where I worked. And I managed the multi-billion dollar redevelopment program under that for that program I provided the marketing and the strategic planning and the PR to promote that program to folks so that people know why we're spending all this money to do this redevelopment of the ports where the ships come in with our products. Excellent. You have a very interesting background. Well we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back to speak to Miss Tara Daldell a little bit more about the marketing and PR in her business and how it can help you. 
Keisha Jackson. Stay tuned. And again, we're here with Tara Del Dell, who is the CEO of the Tara Del Dell Group. And we've just heard some very interesting things about her business as well as her background. Tara, tell us a little bit about um, maybe some, some pointers, or before we even get to pointers, do you want to talk to the audience about any of your, your clients and any uh, important things happening with your clients or things that you can divulge without violating any confidentiality <laughs> agreements that you have? And just to give them an idea of how you kind of do the substance of what you do. Well, thank you for asking, Disha. So we have a very diverse array of clients. And first, let me start by saying the Tara Dell Dell Group, in addition to being a strate strategic consulting and marketing company, in addition to that, we also focus on socially conscious businesses organizations, individuals. So a lot of the people that we work with and the companies that we work with and the organizations that we work with do things that help the community. So there's a double bottom line in terms of what they do. And so that's another area where we are, um, where, I mean, that is the primary area of focus. And um, I'm very busy, so now my cell phone's ringing, disrupting uh, the segment, so apologies for that. Uh, but clients call on Saturdays too. <laughs> But, uh, but one of the, so with respect to what we do and our client base, so we represent some of, a sampling of some of our clients would be uh, real estate development companies. So we work with real estate developers that do urban redevelopment projects. So our clients go into urban areas, they typically build affordable housing so that the people who live in those areas can afford to live in these nicer, newer buildings. All of our clients also do green buildings. So their projects are environmentally sustainable projects. And a lot of people don't know this, but when you look at urban centers, a lot of the urban centers, people get, we have a high degree of asthma, mm because of the air quality. So the buildings that they build are de designed in a way so that it does not impact people. A lot of people don't know the way you build a building can impact your health because that's where you sleep, that's where you live. If mm -hmm. the quality of the products are bad, if there are fumes coming from the paint, that all impacts your health. And so our clients take that into consideration. So I'm proud to work with people like that. We also do work for government agencies, which is um, also enjoyable work. And one of our clients, uh, Essex County, New Jersey, actually has a program for small business owners, and my firm is the marketing consultant for that program. And so it's, it really helps small business owners to access some of those government resources that the big businesses already know how to get to. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very proud of the work that we do with um, with Essex County as well. And that's just a sampling of our clients. I don't want to take up too much of uh, the show time on wow. that. Wow, <laughs> that's really, really interesting. And it seems like you have a wide array of clients and what's really good is the social socially conscious uh, purpose when you're going after clients and you're dealing with them that really gives it uh, makes you feel good yes makes the clients feel good that you want to help to kind of do something socially conscious and of course you know um, how the universe works you you know you do good things good things are going to come back to you so yes. that's why you're very successful Let's talk a little bit about um, some pointers maybe that you could give to some of the um, indie artists um, when we come back from our break. Okay. So stay tuned because we're going to have Tara talk to you maybe about some pointers with regard to marketing and PR um, when you're out there doing your indie thing in the Entertainment Hi, welcome industry. back. Disha, Disha Jackson, Jackson with DLJ Sports and Entertainment Connection, and I am interviewing Tara Del Dell from the Tara Del Del Group. And we're going to talk to her about some pointers for you out there in the entertainment industry with regard to marketing as well as PR. But there's something very interesting about Tara in addition to being CEO of this wonderful marketing, PR, and business development firm, she also appears on TV, and some of you may have seen her. You want to tell our audience a little bit about what you do on TV? Well, I also am a political commentator, and so I appear regularly on CNN, uh, Fox News, Fox Business, 
uh, Fox 5 New York, Good Day New York, that show that comes on in the morning, and uh, Hot 97 Street Soldiers, the radio show. So I'm regularly on those shows commenting on the latest political topics, on government, uh, different laws and, and, and policies that are coming out um, by our government and what impact it has on communities. So that's another thing that I do as well because as I mentioned earlier, my original background where I come from is actually politics originally before I started my own firm. Excellent. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit for you guys who are out there watching the news. Look for Tara. And you know what? In addition to looking for her, if you see her and you like her, send in an email and tell <laughs> them that you like her and that she should appear more regularly. we got to help each other out. And that's how we help each other out. She's excellent. She knows her stuff. And I think you will enjoy when she's on TV doing her thing. Well, Let's talk a little bit about any pointers. Um, you've been in the marketing and PR and business development and kind of business strategy and plans. What can you tell um, the entertainment folks and, and even the sports folks and business out there, and indie artists and music industry, give them some pointers um, that they may want to consider in doing marketing and PR? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Disha, because I think a lot of people don't recognize the full power and value of marketing and how very important it is to anyone's brand in terms of getting that brand more known, in terms of growing that brand and growing a following. And so one of the things I think that the most important thing, in my opinion, is consistency. And I don't think people realize the value of consistency. Marketing is an ongoing process. You can't do a quick marketing campaign and expect everything to happen. It's just that the world just doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So it's all about being consistent. Whether you're on social media, whether you are um, taking out advertisements, you have to have that consistency because think about it this way. If while you're not being consistent, all the, your competition is. So the, your value proposition is making sure that you are consistently out there getting your message out there to your target audience. And so that's so important. The second thing that I would say is very important is don't be, as my mom would say, a penny wise and a pound foolish. And what I mean by that is to be very simple, don't be cheap. When it comes to your marketing materials, that is a reflection of you. Find the money to put together very high quality marketing materials. When you hand someone a business card, they're going to draw a conclusion about you and your value and what your business can offer based on that card. So make sure you have a high quality business card because that's all the person's going to get. And within that three seconds, they're going to make a determination about whether they want to deal with you or not. So, so do that, put the money up front to get your name out there. And nowadays the music industry, and I'll go to my third point, but before I do the music industry, Disha, as you know yes. <laughs> very well, yes. given your line of work, is that the music industry has changed tremendously. And also whether even for authors, the publishing industry has changed. There was a time when the record companies or the publishing companies would do everything for you. Now you have to do your own marketing. You have to build your own brand. That's true. And the beauty of it, though, the good news is that social media allows you to very inexpensively uh, promote your brand. Because if you have an internet connection, you basically can promote your band, brand via all the big sites, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, uh, YouTube, Flickr, all of those large social media platforms have now given you direct access to people. And so that's so very important. But again, it goes back to my first point, you have to be consistent. If you're on Twitter and you're not responding and engaging the people who are following you, then they're going to lose interest in you. If you're not putting content out there on a consistent basis, people will lose interest and they will forget about you. So that's why that's so important. And the last thing that I would say with respect, and, and actually let me make one more point about the value of social media. In this country, the United States of America, 245 million people, and we only have 300 million people in this country. Wow. 245 million people are internet users in the United States of America. Wow. Of that number, 80% of those internet users are on Facebook, are, on, are reached by some sort of social media. So if you are not consistently and effectively utilizing and leveraging social media, then you're missing out on that 245, that 80% of that 245 million people. So that's something that I think people really need to understand when they're thinking about social media. And so before I get to my third point, I want to recap. So consistency 
is key. Consistency in terms of um, getting your name out there and not treating it as something that you do once and hope everything happens. It's an ongoing process. Number two, don't be a penny wise and a pound foolish. Don't that's be right. cheap when it comes to your marketing materials because that's all people have to make a determina determination about you. And if you're an artist on that same front, if you're going to put a demo out there, make it high quality. Go to a studio. Use you know the best equipment. Use sure. good sound engineers and make that investment because you're investing in you. And so that way, you, the quality of your music is better because people will get distracted if there's sound in the background and it's scratchy and all of these things. People That will distract people and it will distract from your abilities and your voice and what you're putting out there. So that's another area where I think people have to be very careful. I mean, I'm laughing about it, but it, you, know, you don't want to be the butt of, of the joke. That's so, that's so that's true. another area, and then the, the the third area that I would say um, with respect to to marketing and 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 something very important is build relationships. Right. Relationships, as I mentioned earlier in the segment, relationships are very to meet a connection. Follow up, that's right. follow through, because I meet so many people and they don't follow up. And then remember, the people that you meet that you want to know that are connections you want to have. They're very busy, so if they don't get back to you right away, wait, and then send them an, another email. Amen. But be politely persistent. Don't be annoying persistent. Be politely persistent. That's right. And so make sure that you say, I just want to check in again. Go that extra mile. Send a handwritten note to someone. People love handwritten notes, but it's all about the extra mile. That's going to be the difference between your success and your lack there, or, or no success at all, lack thereof. Excellent. Those are some wonderful, wonderful points. And I hope you guys wrote those things down out there in the entertainment industry and sports industry for your businesses with regard to PR and marketing. Those are some excellent points. Tara Daldell, the CEO of the Tara Daldell Group Marketing, PR, Business Development. You, you see her address, you see her phone number. Give her a call if you need those kinds of um, services. She's excellent at what she does. My business is a client, so <laughs> I can attest to the hard work that she does and her knowledge base that she has really, really is helpful. I'm Deisha Jackson. I'm with DLJ Sports and Entertainment Connection. That's DLJSEC.com. Thank you again for tuning in. We will definitely see you next time. God bless.